kitchen. Look at you. Rust kitchen. Rust, 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 rust. Talk yeah, is cheap. Is Evidence is everything. You're a doctor. Life is based on results and results matter. Talk is cheap. Evidence is everything. You must have gaslit me for years. But now you cannot gaslight the whole world. Was she paid to kiss you on the head? She was paid to say all of those things. She was paid. I am Coral Bidi, Nigerian singing dancing princess here in Los Angeles, California. Hello, mega love shout out to all my amazing and wonderful family out there. It's your lovely sister here again, Dick Connors Blair. Hey, thank you all for watching. Um, to all my subscribers, my returning subscribers, mega love shout out to every one of you. And to those that are joining for the first time, please do consider to subscribe to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys the video on how justin dean debunked all the things that cora obidi his ex-wife and her sister nancy ume said the other day on their video wonder should never end hmm. you all watched my last video on how Cora Obidi went live with her sister Nancy Ume that came all the way from Nigeria to expose how Justin Dean, her ex-husband, has been cheating on her with his mistress, a Brazilian lady, who, according to them, would turn 19 years. Same Justin Dean that came online, you all know about their story, to expose his wife, he told the whole world that his ex-wife, Cora Obidi, cheated on him. But he refused to also tell the world how he also cheated on his lovely wife. And do you know what? Cora cheated before they, they were legally married. But Justin cheated after the marriage. Who is he deceiving? You know, and I don't know why some people will continue to be supporting evil. Please, like I said before, any man that will leave his wife four days after postpartum is a suspect. Yes. Um, I don't want this video to be too long. Let me leave you guys to watch his reaction because he came online to debug all the things his ex-wife, Cora Obidi, and her sister, Nancy Ume, said against him. Yes, so let me leave you guys and don't so watch. After watching this, please help me to drop your opinion. What do you think? Because from my last video, his ex-wife came out with evidence, with proof, with exhibit. But this man has been accusing his wife without evidence. Yes, Cora admitted that she also cheated. But this happened before they were legally married. But he cheated after their marriage. So, I don't understand. Just drop your own opinion okay drop your opinion i don't really understand for me i am standing for cora obidi yes i am standing for her i cannot stand against my fellow woman after seeing this evidence i am standing for cora obidi and her sister mega love shout out to nancy ume you are a good sister to stand up for your sister for not letting her to die in shame to cry alone i love you i appreciate your efforts and i appreciate even your husband that allowed you to travel all the way from nigeria to america to come and stand for your sister so i am leaving you guys to watch um to watch this video and drop your opinion in the comment section okay i was able to prove that it was not 
not true. I never physically assaulted Cora. She constantly was trying to get me to, but I am not a physically abusive man. Have I called her a name? Yes, I have. Why? Why would I call her names? Because she told me that Athena may not be my child. And then I found out via text messages that I received from the girl who she ended up with, who she, or it cheated on me when she was pregnant with Athena. I have text messages proof, and I've talked to the girl who, who gave me the messages, who ended the engagement with her fiancé of seven years or whatever it was, because, because she had slept with a pregnant woman. Four months pregnant, she was sleeping with other men. And I have proof. I'm not going to post it. I didn't even want to talk about it. But that's what she's carrying on about. She's carrying on, and she's trying to destroy my reputation. She's, she's, she's violating the privacy of our kids. She's saying lies about you. She's purgatory in court. These are felonies. You go to jail for this stuff. As far as that girl in Brazil, she is my friend. And she's about to put out a video that she was paid to say such things. She was my friend. We was a big group of friends. We'd go out and party oh, while Cora was in called Nigeria called teaching, sleeping with other men. Lost, I have lost, lost. plenty of food. I don't care to keep. I'm trying to co-parent in peace. I am not physically abusive. Have I? Or in names? Absolutely. It is. Something that I've done out of extreme frustration. She has told me, and again, I have proof that she was going to kill Athena and then divorce her. This is the kind of stuff that I'm dealing with on a constant basis. She has told me to kill myself on several occasions. She's told me she's going to kill me in my sleep. And I have text message proof of all of this. So this is... What she's doing, and I have text message proof of this as well, she's trying to destroy my career. I have text messages of her saying, you will never work again. All because I said that she's a narcissist and a cheater. So when this comes out, when this comes out in this custody battle, I'm not trying to fight for my kids. She has now done things that are legally illegal. We do she is in court, in public. She cares more about social media than she does her family. Because what she's saying is illegal because it's not true. Yeah, it, is it, is true. it is purgatory. She lied on official police documents. We went to court for that. And look who has their kids. Me. I'm trying to cope in peace with this woman. And she is trying everything she can to destroy me. Because she thinks I'm going to tell people she cheated while she was pregnant. We she had you cry with Peruzzi and I am some case. And she had threesomes with all these different people. She would organize threesomes for these men. Like, I really don't care about any of this. I'm trying to create a positive, peaceful, loving environment for my girl. And this woman is trying to destroy me because I embarrassed her. How, how, are you, how is she putting her kids first? She's violating their privacy. She's telling kids that, she's telling people that I beat my children when I hadn't even seen them, that they come back with bruises. The nurse that I have is hired by me to protect me from her false allegations. Like, if you want to follow a step-by-step -step process and how to lose your custody of your kids, just watch her Instagram, her, her Facebook over the last two or three weeks. I'm not saying anything. I have all this dirt on her, and I'm not trying to say anything. I'm literally trying to live out my life in peace. I'm trying to create a positive, warm environment for, for um, my children. And now her mother is going online saying lies, which is a felony. Because it's... Do you people know that this man talked too much? Me, I cannot blame uh, Cora because she needs to, you know... Claire herself, everybody have been accusing her based on what the man said. So no one should tell this lady to shut up, please. No one should tell her to shut up. Yes. Let everybody expose each other. That is the best.
since she has been keeping moods and this man never want to keep quiet uh -uh. it's not men don't behave like this men don't behave this way every day you come out on social media you, you continue to be saying all kind of things said all sort of nonsense against your wife even if she's your ex she's the mother of your your two kids for crying out loud she's the mother of your two kids your two beautiful baby girls you love your children but you don't love their mother what kind of love is that no matter her offense you don't say that you don't make the world to hurt her and thank god we've seen the truth we are not gonna hurt her we'll be, i am a woman of god i'll be praying for her cora i'll be praying for you i pray for strength i pray for god to bless you with his strength to help you anything you touch you will flourish you will make it yes the light of god wants to shine upon you my prayer is just for you to please um change the way you dress if you can that is the only thing i will tell you just see if you can change the way you dress who am i to judge you but please as a christian i am just change the way you dress try to cover up small please if you can but if you cannot no problem but i want to tell you i am standing for you okay i am standing for you that is just the thing so matter I got upset and I called her out on the internet. I made a mistake. She did the same, except this is real serious allegations in her lies. I never assaulted Cora. She has been trying to plant that in her friends, in her family, and I tried to post a text message of her admitting that she was lying, and you guys took it down. I'll post it again. Too much. Yes. Or any he blog out here who wants to see it, I will show you all the proof you need. I'm not trying to badmouth her. I'm not trying to be a defamation of character. Defamation of character is when what you're saying is a lie and it affects the person. What she's saying about me is lies. And what I'm saying about her is true. I've said no lie. So I'm not going to say any more about this. I'm going to leave it to the court. But she's already lost this battle. If what she was saying was true, I would not be allowed to see my children right now. But I am. Shame on you, Cora. Your daughters are going to see this when you're when they're older. Shame on you.